All right, guys, good morning. Welcome to our Wednesday asynchronous lesson. Mr. Troy, Mr. Gio, we're going to be joining us again today. Good morning, guys. Uh, good morning. Um, Zach, pay attention, please. Thank you. Um, Aurel, is that your thing that's beeping? No, make sure you change the battery. Okay, thanks. And Breeza, pay attention. Right, thank you. Jimmy, sit down, take the popcorn out your mouth. Let's go. All right, Michael. Michael. Yes, thank you, Michael. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Michael, wait. All right. Thank you. Here we go. Right. So, as you can see on the screen, what do you see on the screen right now, guys? What do you see? A clock. A clock. A clock. A clock. Right. Here's a question for you. What is missing? What is not on the clock that should be? Uh, the hand clocks, the hand signals. The hand clocks, the hand signals. Oh, yeah. The hands, yes, we got there. The hands, the little pointy things, right? The kind of arrows that are on a clock, right? Yeah, that's what's missing. And if we look at the clock, we see all the numbers. At the top is 12. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, because there are, we use a 12-hour clock. Now, that's for the hours. And for the minutes, they're in blue. And they go in fives. They go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then zero. That's the confusing one. It doesn't go to 60. It goes back to zero, then to five. It goes right up to 59, actually. But if you know your math, you will know that one times five is five. Two times five is 10. Three times five is 15, four times five is 20, five times five is 25, six times five is 30, Mr. Lord's age, seven times five is 35, eight times five, 40, nine times five, nine times five is 45, that's Mr. Toy's age, 10 times five, 10 times five is 50, <laughs> and 11 times five, 55. All right, so there we go, let's move on. Uh, Mr. Toy's not 45. Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, so we got two kinds of clock. We've got this one, which is called a digital clock. And this is the one that shows you the numbers. This is the easy one. This is the one I like. So what are some places where you might see this in your home? Where might you see this? Uh, your room, possibly. Yeah, in your room. room. Okay, think about, let's think about the kitchen. What, what, I, where could you see it in the kitchen? Microwave. microwave. Microwave, yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, microwave, maybe. Or the, the oven. oven. Yeah, the oven, yeah, that's, that's a good one. Yeah. That's another one, Gio. Um, some of the new fancy refrigerators might have a time on. Mm -hmm. um, mine always says it's time to eat. No, it <laughs> there's no time. Uh, but yeah, new things like that. Even if you have, uh, on your computer, it might be in this, you know, on your Chromebook, your laptop, maybe even on your phone. Um, and then we have... The old fashioned one, the one that's been around forever, the analog, okay? Now where I'm from, we put a U and an E on the word analog, but over here we don't um, in California. So analog, and this is the, this is traditional, like your old fashioned watch, or you might see it at the train station or the bus station or in a classroom. Or a lot of people have like a fancy clock, you know, some people have a, a one on the wall. I know my mom has an old one on the wall. So I don't think it's old, I think she got it from like Ross, but it looks old, all right. Okay, so, and here's the parts of a clock. The one in orange here is the hour, okay? And the one in blue is the minutes. And then we can see the hands on the clock we talked about earlier. So we see the small hand is the hour and the big hand is the minute. And we see here the small hand is pointing to the 11 and the minute hand is pointing to the 12. Okay, so digital analog. All right, let's see the next page. Okay, so here we're going to tell time. Okay, and this is like what we did on the first page. So, is that okay, guys? Is that too small? Do you need it bigger? No, that's fine. That's okay. Okay, so as we said previously, the hour. So, first thing we're going to do, step one, find the hour. And it's in orange. So, we're going to look at the orange hand, and it's pointing the small hand. This is, remember, this one's small, this one's big. Small is hour, big is minutes, okay? So the small hand, what number is it pointing to? The seven. The seven. seven. It's also pointing to what number as well? 35. 35. 35. 
But remember, we're doing the hour, so we're going for the actual smaller number. So seven, okay. So it's, this is the hour. And if it's, see how it's pointing exactly to the seven? It is, isn't it? Now, mm -hmm. if it's pointing between two numbers, for example, if it was pointing between the seven and the eight, if it's between two numbers, you always pick the smaller number, okay? Always pick the smaller one because it's not quite got to that hour yet. All right, very good. Let's look at the blue one. So, obvious question. If this is, if the orange one is pointing to the hour, what is the blue one pointing to? The minutes. Minutes. Perfect. Yeah, the minutes. Okay. So, this is the minute hand, the blue one. What number is it pointing to, Gio? Uh, three or 15. Yeah, three or 15. Now, because it's blue, I think we can go with the blue number. I think that's right. Okay, so 15. Okay, so we start, remember, with the blue one, we start at zero. We start at the 12 at the zero, and we count by five to each number. So we go five, 10, 15. So it's 15. The hour hand is at seven. The minute hand is at 15. So the time is 7.15. 7.15. Yeah, exactly. It's not 3.35. 7.15. Okay, remember, whoopsie daisy. Um, remember, the little one points to the hour, the big one points to the minutes. All right, let's move on. Okay, so here's one. We're going to do time of the day here. Now, we have got AM and PM. Anyone know what they stand for? Um, Oopsie. Hey. Hang on. Sorry, guys. I went to oh, the yeah. um, AM and PM. Anyone know what that? Well, first off, what does it mean? And then we'll talk about later on. AM means after morning. Okay. After morning. That's a good guess. Okay. Yeah. All right. After yeah. morning. Um, and then PM. Well, close. It begins with AM. Good yeah. guess, Mr. Joy. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually. Um, it actually means, I think it's anti meridian, I think, or something, anti, oh, whatever. Anyway, yeah. it means morning. It means morning. If it's AM, it, so look at AM. AM stops there, right? Right there in the middle, 12 o'clock in the morning. So anything before 12 o'clock noon, lunchtime, 12 in the middle of the night is morning, right? Now, so PM, if AM means morning, PM must mean. Afternoon. Afternoon or evening, yeah. After twelve, so it's from from midnight to midday, a.m. From midday to midnight is p.m. And we can look at the bottom here. So from one a.m. So from basically this time, midnight until twelve in the afternoon. What do we call that time? Twelve a.m. to eleven fifty-nine a.m. What do we call that? Morning. We do. We call it morning. Okay. And then this is where it gets confusing, guys. It's really confusing here, right? We have PM, which is from 12 noon to midnight. But within the PM, we have afternoon, evening, and night. Okay, so, and some people have different interpretations of this. Okay, but for the purposes of what we're doing today, we're going to say that afternoon goes from 12 PM to... 5.59, basically 6 o'clock. Let's, let's make that bigger for you guys so you can see it. There you go. So we're going to say <coughs> the afternoon is from 12 to 5.59. So and then evening, 6 to 7.59. So the evening is, says it's only two hours. I might think evening starts goes a little bit later. But just for this, we're going to go along with it. And nighttime, it says 8 until 11.59. So we've got afternoon, and twelve to five, basically 12 to 6. Evening, 6 till 8 night 8 till, till 12 a.m. And if you remember, 5.59 is followed by 6 o'clock, 6.00, not 5.60. Okay. All right. We all understand that, guys? Yes. So night time. So we go morning, afternoon, evening, night. Main thing, a.m., p.m. Okay. So in the afternoon, after lunch, p.m., for lunch, a.m. All right. Let's move on. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about which is the earliest time. Now, er earliest means what comes first. So Kelly 
is going to the hardware store to buy mouse traps. Oh, she's got a rodent problem. Probably didn't. She didn't probably pay attention to our previous lessons about keeping the kitchen clean. <laughs> yeah. uh, right. So anyway, she's got to go to the hardware store, go to Ace or Home Depot to buy some mouse traps. What is the earliest time she can go to the hardware store? So we're going to find out what's the earliest time. So which clock shows the earliest time? Now, here's what you got to look at. Not only do you look at the time, we've also got to look at this little number here, the little letters. You see that? That'll tell us whether it's in the morning or the evening. So if we do this, you can see it right there. Look. What does that say right there? You see that one? Uh, AM. AM. Now, Mr. Gill, is AM in the morning or is it in the afternoon or evening? Uh, in the morning. In the morning, AM. Right? AM means morning, right? So we've got 11 AM. 9.30 a.m. or 10.30 a.m. Which clock shows the earliest time? In other words, which one comes first? 9. 9.30. 9.30, yeah, that's the easy one. Good job, guys. So 9 becomes before 10 and 11, so it must be 9.30. Let's see. Why is it not working? Well, it's 9.30. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> It's not working. Hang on, I'll press it. Ding! Good job. All right. Okay. Juan, here's Juan. Juan needs to change the batteries in his smoke alarm. Uriel. Uriel, let's change it. Uriel needs to change the batteries in his smoke alarm. What is the latest time he can change the batteries? Okay. So now we're looking. Which clock shows the latest time? So latest means the biggest. The furthest on. And remember, we're going to look at the little letters. Okay, so we know it says PM, which means, PM. what does PM mean? Afternoon. Yeah. Afternoon. Or Afternoon or evening. Afternoon. Or night. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So which one is the latest? We've got 4.30 PM, 1 PM, or 8.30 PM, which is the latest? 8.30 PM. 8.30. 8.30, yeah, there we go. Well, I'll press that. Ding! Ding! Good job, we got it. 8.30, because 8 comes after 1 and 4.30. All right. Good job. Good job, Muriel. You got to 8.30 to go get your batteries and change it. Okay. All right, let's get another. Let me just do this one. Oh, Kelly again. Here's Kelly. Same question. Kelly needs to call a repairman to fix her door. What's the earliest time she can, she can call the repairman? Which clock shows the earliest time? Okay. So this one's for you, Mr. Choi. What do you think? Um, 8.30 in the morning. 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m. Very good. Yep, because we've got 9.30, 8.30. It's all a.m.s, so we'll go for this one. <coughs> I don't know why it's not working, but ding! ding. It's 8.30 is the correct answer. You know, when we don't record these lessons, they work perfectly. All right, back to Uriel. Oh, no, no, sorry, Alex, one. All right, okay. Juan needs to put outlet covers over the outlets in his home. So remember, the outlets are where you put the plug into, okay? What is the latest time he can put outlet covers over the outlets in his home? Which clock shows the latest time, Mr. Gio? Which is the latest one? Mm, let's see. Um, I think it's 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Yeah, because 10 comes after 9 and 4. Okay, so let's go to 10. I'll click that button. Ding! Good job, Mr. Toy. You got it right. I don't know why it's not working. Okay, let's move on. Oh, oh it's getting complicated. Right, here we go with Kelly again. Kelly's still going to the store to buy mouse traps. What's the earliest time she can go to the hardware store? Which clock shows the earliest time? 9.30 a.m. 9.30 again. Still not working. And then the ding. second one. Ding. Good job. And back to Uriel. Uriel, when do you need to change the batteries in your smoke alarm? What's the latest time you could do it? 8.30 p.m. 8.30 p.m. Yeah, 8.30 p.m. Now we've got 30s in there now. It's getting complicated. I'll press the button and it won't work, but I'll go ding. There you go. Good job, Mr. G. Let's move on. All right, so Kelly needs, oh, same again, same question. Kelly's calling the repairman. Which clock shows the earliest time, Gio? 
9.30, 8.30, 11.30. 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m. Yep, that's the easy one. And again, for you, Mr. Toy, one needs to put outlets on. Which clock shows the latest time? Um, 10 o'clock. 10 p.m. Yeah, 10 o'clock. When it's zero, zero, we say o'clock. Okay, off the clock, that means. 10 p.m. So, yeah, we see there the orange is the hours, the blue is the minutes. Okay, next page. Uh-oh, this is getting complicated. Uh -oh. All right, okay, here's Uriel, he's going to, no, it's not Uriel, it's Juan. Okay, Juan goes to a fire safety class at 12 p.m. Okay, now, how do we do 12 o'clock here? We'd have to draw it in, which we can't. Best laid plans of mice and men. Right, so anyway, 12 o'clock p.m., let's just answer the questions here. Is 12 well, p.m., yes, sorry? You might be can, Terry. You see the marker there? Yeah. Yeah, I think you can use the marker. That's what I'm trying to do. That's why it's moving. Uh, okay, never mind. No, yeah, I tried. So, yeah, yeah okay. guys, um, usually this is where you would write it on. Um, let me see if I can do this. Though. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right. Okay, so 12 o'clock, we would put. Uh, I can do this, actually. There we go. I have a plan. Bear with me, guys. Let's see if this works. No. Oh, no, not that one. All right, here we go. So, yeah. Apart from that bit. Oh, yeah. Difficult to control it. Okay, let's try again. Right, here we go. So, 12 o'clock will be that. Oops. And then we do PM right there. We'll circle that one. PM. That didn't work, did it? Anyway, how do we do 12 o'clock? So the small hand goes to, which is the hour, and okay. uh, goes to the 12. Okay. And then the larger hand, which is the minute, goes to the 12 too. Oh, wow. There we go. Yep, good job. Okay, so Mr. Toy is... Um, what would you say, morning, afternoon, or evening, or night? I would say afternoon. Yep, afternoon, yeah. I'm going to go with that one too. Good job. Ding! Ding! Good job, Mr. Toy. All right. Now I can't move it. Oh, boy. There we go, now. Oh, oh okay, never mind. We just... <laughs> I, tried. I tried, I tried, didn't I? I tried, I can't move it. This is a, this is actually, you can tell this is a real lesson, guys, because we're not able to do it. All right, well, we'll just do this one with Mr. Toy, uh, Mr. Gio. How about that? Okay. All right, Mr. So Juan cleans and organizes his garage at 6 p.m. How would we do that on the clock here? What would we put in there? So for the hour hand, for the hour, which is the first box, you put a six. Okay, six. Gio, can you take the minutes for me? Uh, how many minutes? Yeah, zero, zero. Zero, zero. All right, looks like 600, but it's actually six o'clock. Now, how do we do that on the clock? Where does the hour hand go? You should point it, uh, the small hand to the six. Small hand to the six. Yeah, and... <laughs> That will be the same, like, uh, uh, with the, uh, the, the opposite direction. Yeah, the opposite so, direction to the what, to the bigger to the bigger head. So what number is it going to? I break? mean, to the twelve. I'm sorry, to the twelve. Uh, there we go. Thank you. We got there. Good job. All right. Yeah. So look, that one goes up and down, and the other one was. All right. Very good, Mr. Gio. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, guys. It's kind of confusing, isn't it? Let's move on. Oh, it's going to stay there, isn't it? <laughs> All right, you know what? This this isn't gonna work. All right, that's the icon one here. Yeah. Okay, right. So there we go, guys. 